Hi, my name is Shannon Costello and I'm a registered dietitian with Corporate Fitness Works. Today we're in my home kitchen and we're going to make some energizing peanut butter pretzel bites. If you're looking for a quick and healthy snack mid-afternoon, after school, before or after a workout, then this is it. It's even great as a healthy dessert after dinner. The combination of ingredients helps make this snack nutrient dense and very satisfying. You only need one to two bites to satisfy that sweet and salty tooth craving. These bites use rolled oats, which are considered a whole grain and complex carbohydrate because they're rich in fiber, protein, and important minerals like zinc, magnesium, iron, and selenium. It's the soluble fiber found in oats that have them known for lowering cholesterol and improving heart health. The creamy peanut butter is another good source of protein and especially unsaturated fats. Unsaturated fats are considered the quote, good fats, because they are known to help raise good cholesterol while lowering the bad cholesterol. You can also swap peanut butter for almond, cashew, or even sunflower seed butter, which is especially allergy friendly for those allergic to nuts. Just be sure to buy the unsalted or no salt added varieties as to lower your daily sodium intake. So when you look at the ingredient label for your nut or seed butter, it should only be one ingredient, the peanut, the almond, the cashew, or so forth. Shredded coconut is another ingredient that will make these very satisfying because they're also rich in fiber and have a combination of different types of fats. Coconut fats fall under the medium chain triglyceride category, which have been studied in benefit to heart health and helping with weight maintenance when eaten mindfully. Also buy unsweetened versions of the shredded coconut to eliminate any excess sugar. You have the choice of using chia seeds, hemp seeds, or ground flax seeds, all of which are going to add protein, fiber, and omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are known to benefit our heart and brain health. Keeping any of these tiny little seeds in your pantry comes in handy because you can easily sprinkle them on salads, soups, pastas, and add them to smoothies or baked goods. I'm using a combination of both chia and hemp. So as you can see, these tiny little guys are powerful ingredients with all their nutrient rich benefits. The rest of our ingredients also have a variety of nutrients, but also flavor to help combine everything together. We have our reduced sodium pretzels, another good energy source if you need some quick energy and a little bit of saltiness there for the flavor. Some softened or melted coconut oil, again, another good source of those medium chain triglyceride type of fats that'll benefit with satiety and also provide some energy. We have some honey, a great natural sweetener that also comes with vitamins and minerals, a dash of cinnamon for some great flavor, and as a sweet addition, you will have the choice of adding some mini dark chocolate chips. If you don't like or have coconut oil on hand, you can also sub in some olive oil or even some extra honey. We're gonna start by using either a blender or a food processor. And you're going to add both the oats and the pretzels individually into your blender or food processor. So first I'll do the oats and I'm just gonna pulse it a few times until it's like a coarse flour texture. And then I'll remove that and place it in a large mixing bowl. And then I'll add our pretzels and we'll pulse that until they're just crushed. We don't wanna over pulse them and turn them into a flour. They should be chunky pieces. And then we'll add that into the bowl with the oats. Okay, so as you can see after I've pulsed this, the oat is like this coarse texture here, breaking down a little bit, and then our pretzels are pretty crushed. There's no large pieces, but it's not too floury or powderish. Another fun way to do this if you have kids is let them crush the pretzels either by hand or you can use a rolling pin with a plastic baggie and that's pretty fun for them. The rest is pretty simple. We're just gonna add all the remaining ingredients into our big mixing bowl and give it a really good stir until it's well combined. So we, here we have our nice peanut butter pretzel mixture all together, pretty sticky, looking good. And then we're just gonna use a one tablespoon measuring spoon to portion out the mixture into individual balls. 
gently rolling them between your hands and then put them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. And once they're all rolled out, we'll pop them in the freezer for about 20 minutes. And voila, here we have our delicious sweet and salty peanut butter pretzel bites full of energy. Keep them in the refrigerator for up to one week or keep them frozen for up to three months. Enjoy.